Hey everyone, it's Billy Morrison and Ozzy Osbourne here. Our new show, The Madhouse Chronicles, is dropping this April. Join us as we sit back in the Osbourne Madhouse, reacting to the wildest internet clips and diving into topics like aliens, drugs, conspiracies and rock and roll. Visit OsborneMediaHouse.com for early access, limited edition merch and more. Even the re-release of the iconic Osborne's TV show in 4K. Don't miss out and see you in the Madhouse. I'm Ozzy. I'm Sharon. I'm Kelly. And I'm Jack. And this is the Osborne's podcast. Excuse me. This oh. is Elvis. Elvi baby. He's Elvis. Puffy suck my tail. Oh my god, mom. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. I'm <laughs> <laughs> mentally deranged. Crazy. Hey, but that's how it goes. I need to go to a happier place. I feel romantic. Dad, huh? Pussy. Just go to bed, darling. Ah! Ah! All right, change the subject. Okay, so what's everyone been up to? Just been, just been working. Lots of work. I've been working a lot too. I um, I'm starting a few new companies. They're going to be really exciting and I can't talk about specifically what, but one of them is going to actually be with dad and I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, mysterious. Leaving us out. What is it? What, you can't, what, what is said company you're starting with dad? You have to promote it. Okay. So basically it's going to be <laughs> no, a, no, don't tell. Okay. It's not done. That's okay. that gives bad. Juju. Bad juju. Oh. It is bad juju. Mum's right. Okay. Well, we'll I will wait with bated excitement and anticipation. I love anything that I get to do with my dad, but to get to work with him in that way is going to be really fun. But dad, your music video that you did with Billy is doing really, really well. Yeah, yeah. How'd that come about? It's from a, a songwriting uh, thing I did with him. And yeah, but Paris like, did he... Jackson's in it. Yeah, but... And... But like, how did this all, was this just like a Billy pulling a Billy, like somehow? Billy, can... uh, Billy says, what, what do you want to do with this song? So I said, you can have it, you know. Oh, so you guys did a song together mm -hmm. with no, was there, was there always a plan to release it? Or was it just like a? It came back, it was done ages ago. And it just, I said, whatever you want to do with it. Well, they were just messing around like they do and the song worked and that was it, wasn't it? Cool. And dad looks great in the video. Yeah. What have you been up to, mama? Trying not to work, being lazy, and I like it a lot. You deserve a rest after your last UK trip anyway, Mum. I like it a lot. Are you and Dad up to anything? I heard a little birdie told me that you may be going on a little vacay, vacay day somewhere. Oh, we a, are. Where are you going on a vacation? We're just taking a little weekend out of town. Where are you going? We're going to a secret place where we go. Ah, okay. In Montecito. Just you guys or are you bringing staff with you? No, no. it's just mom and dad. Where Elvis, are we going? We're taking Elvis, Wesley, wait, 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 Where is this? We're going away this weekend. We're not, are we? Yeah. I don't want to go away for fucking Oh, dad, it's the best place oh, ever. Please. And you get to have steak, Diane. It is the best thing no. ever. Oh, you, you know what? I'm going to quote you on something. Well, when last time we were all at your secret little hotel you guys are going to, you said to me, oh, we should really come here more often. Yeah. So now's your opportunity. I don't want to go. Why? I, 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 I don't want to go. Are you busy? No. Well, then but go. I don't, I don't go know. get a massage. Oh, go have steak, I don't Diane. Care about Treat massage. yourself. I want to go in the, right in the garden with my, the garden with my gun weekend. Well, oh, you we'll don't... take your gun down there. Fuck off, it's a fucking hotel. Well. Well, you know what you guys could do? Come with me up to Idaho. You can shoot all you want in the backyard. Are you go going to, to Idaho? Idaho? I want to stay in my no, house. No, not this weekend. Oh, please come play you with go me. go with Amy, I don't care. Oh, oh you don't uh, care? That's very nice. Thank you. Wow. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Listen, I think well, you should... Well, if that is the case of the, and that does happen, can I just say, please let me know because I'm the one that's going to stay with Dad. So... What do you mean? Well, if Mum goes out of town with Amy, who stays mm. with Dad? Me. 
Okay. So if you don't that have is, to. Uh, I'm taking it is my privilege, joy, and honor to stay with you because I have so much fun whenever. I it's can't just stay us. in this house. It's Why? Too many dogs. I, I, I love it. I it's love all the dogs. Way and Jack. too many dogs. When I stay here, every no single dogs, one of them gone. sleeps with me. You what? They've got all the dogs have gone. Yep. What are we doing with them? Have all, all, all Amy's dogs have gone. Amy's dogs. Oh have yeah, gone. that's different. No, no, I'm just saying in general. The 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 Hudson House dogs, not the ones that are, that are boarded here. Um, I just can't. It's too many. I love it. They all sleep with me when I stay here. That's gross. And I, oh, uh, please. Gross. You get parasites from sleeping with dogs. I probably oh, am filled God. with worms. I don't give a shit. I love Bring them on. the dogs. Wow. Love the dogs. You guys are insane. Maybe toxic plasmosis is here, actually. actually don't you love sleeping with the dogs, Dad? I've got no choice. Oh, you like it. You, you, you and fucking oh, nice. oh, 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 man. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. <laughs> The best thing that's ever happened to me. Going to bed with a bed full of dogs is fucking great. I recommend it to everybody. You know Buy what? ten dogs and have them sleep with you. The times that I am here and you're going to bed, you go get your apples, and then it's all the dogs in the elevator. No, no, they no. all come up in the elevator my four, with you. My four gang come with me. Four. A four? How come there were six in the elevator? Because they were the they thought you were getting your your. Mm. What do they do, do with your two dogs? Run straight back down on the stairs. I mean, Bella wasn't, though. Oh, Jack, you should see her. She Bella. hobbles all the way to the elevator and, like, gets on, like... She does. Like she the does. crypt keeper. How that dog is still alive. You you just... No, no, I know. No, I... it is a miracle, Mom. But how that dog is still alive is, is a feat of fucking science. That dog is holding on by a fucking thread. Oh, don't. I love her. Have you seen what it's like when she takes a shit? Yes. Oh, it's don't talk about dog shit. Yeah, we talk. We can't talk about dog. We talk about that's like the the comment is why do they always talk about dog shit? Really? Well, because we're we're surrounded by, by dogs. It. Ke- that's why Kelly always talks about dog shit. Well, you always. I'm gonna. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna do a compilation uh-huh. edit of every. Is it ep- me? Yes, of every episode where you talk about. Where's shit. Pete in the shadows? Uh, I don't believe it unless it comes from Pete. Cameron, mouth. can you weigh in on this? There's an awful lot of Kelly talking about dog shit. I, I, I can't change sides. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. But no, it, it's literally like the most difficult uh, thing in the world and she basically flatlines and then comes back to life again. Oh, please. Little she drives dad I, absolutely insane. I mean, oh. uh, here's the thing. If she didn't have the spunk that she has... I would be like, Mom, let's give her the give her the long night. But she's like somehow Look, she's not in pain. She I, loves her food. She's not in pain. She loves She's me. fucking flat on the like ground. This, but she's not in pain. So she can't walk. I'm well. in pain looking at her. <laughs> Please. She's she has she's a, a good she listen, life. She, she's she just, still has a, a good enough quality of life that I don't think that the thought <laughs> of putting her to sleep is even a thought. It's not even an option. Not well, an okay, option. But, we don't, I'm not going to go there with it, but I think it should be on. I should be an option at a certain point. I remember Aerie's face when she first met Bella. Yes. Her face was like... Because what is it? It's like... It's like a chicken that's been plucked... It's like a chicken that's been spliced with a pig and a dog. Oh, and it's been dogs. plucked and like there's one arm up here and one arm down And she's there. got one, one, eye. Eye. one eye. Does she only have one eye now? Yes. One of the oh other dogs God. like punctured her eye in a fight and like. No, she's only got one eye. Are they yeah. going to like sew it shut or is it? No. Why don't you get her a little tiny patch? I yeah. Will. Daddy, they're talking disrespectfully about our child. Do you can do you emotionally connect with Bella? She's a like a torture. She's a torture. No, she drives Dad insane all day. Yeah. All she does is this Meh. repetitive Meh. bark, all, and it's so loud for how small who's, she is. Who's the little furry fuck that at five o'clock in the morning just goes? Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Incessantly, it's like a it's. 
I, I swear to God, you guys found that dog in the fucking torture chambers of fucking Guantanamo Bay. Blame Sarah. I it will blame Sarah. It is Sarah Gilbert's fault because she did donate that dog to us. Yes. Oh, I love her. She's gorgeous. No, no I have she to say, I have developed okay. she does strong feelings the, 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 for her. She wants uh, food. What By food, you mean a nice glossy turd that she likes to eat? No. Who's talking Here about dog go. shit now? But she does. I am, Here we admittedly. Go. I'm talking about shit. Stop talking about dog poop. Okay. But there's just an awful lot of it here. And that needs to be... Hey, everybody. Kelly Osborne here. And the Osborne's podcast is sponsored by Smalls. At my parents' house, a lot of the time, somehow I always get stuck feeding the cats. And let me just say, I dread it because kibble just smells so bad. But not anymore. Because we use Smalls. If you're still feeding your cat kibble, you need to stop. Small's cat food is protein-packed recipes made with preservative-free ingredients that you would find in your own fridge. I fed Tiger Lily right before the podcast. She loves this chicken flavor, like is obsessed with it. She used to play with her kibble for hours, and now she scarfs down Small's in a matter of minutes. The Osborne's cats deserve the best, and the best is Small's. I feel better knowing they're eating real food and not gross burnt kibble. Happy cat. Happy life, right? Now is the time to make the switch to Smalls. Head to smalls.com slash Osborns and use the promo code Osborns at checkout for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use my code Osborns for the 50% off your first order. One last time, that's promo code Osborns for 50% off your first order plus free shipping. Hey everyone, it's Jack Osborne here, and the Osborne's podcast is sponsored by Fume. Let's talk about bad habits. We've all got them, and we all want to break them, but it's hard. Sometimes it feels impossible, like driving through an obstacle course with your eyes closed. So, instead of giving up, why not switch it up? That's where Fume comes in. Fume is a healthy habit that you are free to enjoy. I personally use a Fume. I have many filthy, dirty habits, uh, but using this one isn't. Uh, I love my fume, and I have a new one now because it's like a different wood grain and the fidget on it. I love it. I, I can't get enough of it. Um, but this legitimately, I have one in my car, I have one at my desk, and I'm very hooked on the crisp mint currently. Start the year off right with the good habit by going to tryfume.com forward slash Osborns and getting the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of our show 10% off when they use the promo code Osborns to help make starting the good habit that much easier. And do you want to add the cat piss in as well? The whole way upstairs is so you guys, disgusting. You guys live in like the most expensive squander I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> We live like homeless No matter what people. we talk about, we always have to no, talk like about No, it's like borderline grey gardens. It is. Oh, it's uh, borderline. Of... It's not, no, it's full line. No, it's what like... did they live with? What were the things that were in their, no, in their roof? Raccoons. Yeah. Oh my God, I wouldn't mind having a raccoon. Have you seen the ones that are domesticated on Instagram? Mm -hmm. With their little hands. Yeah. Like I would... They're terrifying though, raccoons. I think they're really smart. Do you like raccoons, Daddy? To look at, yeah. <laughs> to look at. <laughs> would you like a pet raccoon? No. Is there an exotic pet that you would like? No. Oh, I would. What do you want? I'd like a tiger or a panther. Fuck off. Fuck. What are you going to do with a tiger a or a panther? Man? The most apex predators on planet Earth, a fucking tiger. You, you, you would like a tiger? Yeah. Have you ever seen the footage of the tiger attacking the ranger on top of the elephant? What about the footage of yes. Melanie Griffith with her lion or whatever it was? Tiger. When it was yeah, out shooting, it jumped up, runs. Yeah, yeah, runs out so of the grass gorgeous. and just. No. It's the. Cra I'll show you this footage and then you might reconsider a tiger. No, because if you rear them from when they're babies. No, no. Fucking them two guys from Vegas. Yeah. The white tiger. Yeah, but they were they were exploiting them, having them on stage, yes, dancing Dolly, to the, music, the, the, prancing because around you have in you Vegas. Have, because you have a tiger in your own house. Hold on. Do you remember when we went to Vegas and they had them in a glass cage in the reception of a bloody hotel? So where would you have a, where, would you let the tiger walk around the house? Absolutely. 
You are fucking insane. You're insane. You are absolutely insane. What would you name this tiger? Yeah, what what would you name the tiger? Frank? Puss. Puss. No, we already have a cat named Puss that everybody has. We ain't having a fucking dog. Big Puss. (laughs) Big Puss. Big Puss. Stripey puss. Yeah. Well, I'm not letting you have a fucking tiger anyway. Really. Um, I think I think when you move back to Welders, you should get a tiger. I oh yeah. You'd be, 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 be very lonely. People have them as pets in Dubai. Mum, they also move have Dubai, slaves not- in Dubai. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 it's like I don't think Dubai should be the standard for like Why? trying to. They drive them in their cars. Their people what? have them as normal uh, pets. Okay, where am so I? I? Can I tell you what animal I would have? Even though it would have to be one that can't fly due to an accident. Remember what? when you went to the circus and the lion shit? That wasn't me. That was Amy. Well, they were night pooping. Who's talking about shit now? Oh, uh, tiger, tiger, tiger. You don't have dog poop. Tiger poop was pretty no, bad. No, it was but a lion anyway, that shat um, and she threw up. Diana Jenkins uh-huh. has a pet owl and it is the most beautiful, funny, like incredible. Yeah. Did I'd, you know? And I would love to have parrots are not the only birds that can talk. There's all kinds of birds you can get. And most birds will talk. Do you know that there's a bird in the Amazon which has changed its call to sound like a chainsaw because of the I've noise? I've heard about that, Because yeah. of them cutting down all the trees. All it hears is... And so it literally sounds like a gas-powered chainsaw. So speaking of birds and things that fly in the sky, should we get into... What we're going to talk about today, because I put, t- I put, okay, so I've been online a lot recently because I've been on a lot of airplanes, so I've been reading a lot of news articles and and different things. So here, there are a few things that I thought we could talk about today in some hot topics. Okay, so this is a government topic. CEO of Boeing, Dave Calhoun, he finally has stepped down in the wake of ongoing safety problems along with overhaul of management team. Yeah. So <laughs> if there's uh, ever- would rather, if he stepped down, I don't, I don't know what what for because they need to get people who can build the plane better. Well, it's crazy. It, you know, and this poses the question, you know, do you feel safe flying right now? Because let's just go over the no. few things. It's like the door fell off of one, a wheel wh- fell off of another, a did plane you see engine that, was on fire. That wheel did, by the way. What you, I know. It, it, it totaled these cars. Oh, yeah. They're huge, those wheels are. Yeah. I mean, when you see them, they look like, like regular wheels, but they're not like fucking giant wheels. It went on this car park, and luckily there was nobody in nobody the car. Nobody hurt. If, if people would have been Flat, just splat. Just if you, it up. it's kind of one of those things that if you're that unfortunate individual that's just like randomly walking, going outside yeah. for a smoke break, and a fucking wheel lands on you from thirty eight thousand feet. Talking about wheels, it's kind of yeah. like, all right, like God, God just pulled your ticket. Like fucking, oops. <laughs> oh, yeah, talking about wheels, I was watching a thing on YouTube the other day where this guy's got a camera and he's dead, and there's a car. We all got and it bounced just in front. It's, it's a coming dead forward, and it went boink. Oh, it's... did you see the footage though in LA of the car driving down the highway and the wheel of the truck next to him came off and the car drove over the wheel and fucking launched mm-hmm. and like flipped and rolled down the highway? It's insane, but everyone survived thankfully. Did you see the footage of the car that bumped into the Beverly Hills Hotel? Song? Yeah, wasn't he a rapper? He drove into the Beverly Hills Yeah, it was the new Tesla. Yeah. You know as you go into the hotel, there's the big sign outside and you turn off Sunset. He drove right into that sign. Why? I don't know. Um, I think he... Was he like TikToking or something in his car? Probably. What an idiot. (laughs) Nobody disrespects the Beverly Hills Hotel. How dare they? How dare they? It's a fucking national treasure. Yes. It really is. (laughs) Um, No, so I think it is... It is highly concerning, right, when an airline company has... I just find it insane when they have safety issues. Because if there's the, one the, thing... The, 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 the quality of work must have dropped. Through. Yes. I read an article that said, aren't they in Portland? 
No, the, uh, no, yeah. uh, Seattle. Boeing, Seattle. Yeah. Boeing Seattle. in Seattle. Well, apparently, half the people on the staff, the staff there that put all the bits together, are on what's the stuff? Fentanyl. Is? Fentanyl. What? Oh, wow. They don't drug test fucking engineers that build planes? Obviously not, because they're all dropping out the sky. I feel like that, that should be That might be a conspiracy theory, Mum. But I okay. feel like but that... Did you see that on TikTok, That's Mom? probably a rumor. Uh, no, You're somebody lying. told me. You totally saw that on TikTok. Yeah, I did. Mum read an article. Mm. You cannot get your news from TikTok, Mum. We keep telling it's you It's funny, this. though, because my wife does that. She's like, I read an article. I'm like, where'd you read it? She's like, TikTok. <laughs> I'm about get five in the TikTok, morning. Mom. I can't Doom sleep. scrolling. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Who here is afraid of flying? I have a deep fear of flying. Uh, yes and no. Okay. Do you have any rituals that you do before you get on a plane? Be- for example, I don't go to one. Uh, every time I get on a plane, I like to touch the side of it before I go in, and then. It's something that I've been doing since I was about 16 with Brooke Doolian because we used to fly so much together because she was my stylist. And she used to say a prayer and then say, and then I had to say, dear God, please listen to Brooke, thank you. And I still do it to this day on every flight I've ever been on. And then I look to see if there's like, are the passengers that make me think, okay, a, God can't be that fr- evil. Like if there's a nun on my flight, I know the plane... Is going to be fine. None of this, none of that. And then, or if there's other babies, I'm like, no, God can't be that evil. So I know that the flight, I'm going to be okay. But I have such a fear of death on airplanes. Yeah. It's, it's pa- borderline I should be medicated for it to get on a plane. I, I can relate to that. And it's part of the reason why I want to get my pilot's license. Oh, no. Because I want, I feel like if I know how to fly a plane, I won't be as scared. But a, pl- a, plane, a plane that you fly and a plane that they fly is like going from a rowing boat to a fucking... Oh, yeah, no, but I'm, to- I'm not talking about just hanging out with like a, oh, here's my weekend. Like, I w- I'm like, cool, I want to get like all the qualifications. Like Angelina Jolie. No, I didn't know she flew planes. She flew. Pl- she flies planes. Or John Travolta. John Travolta. John Travolta. Okay. Angelina Jolie flies planes, though. I thought it was Brad Pitt. I thought he was the pilot. I don't know. I don't know. Well, Angelina Jolie, you know, she. I don't. I don't know if I would trust her piloting my plane. I feel like she would be too busy, like trying to save. I think she'd be too emotional. Yeah, uh, save everyone. But maybe that is a good pilot because she's so concerned about saving the world. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys gonna fly? If you. All right, you book an airline ticket and yeah. you look, go online to check in and you see that it's one of the new Boeing 737 Maxes. Are you going on that plane? See ya. No way. No way. Why Why tempt fate? What do you mean fate? It, no, it's not necessarily fate. It's do you trust that they nope. fixed the problem? No, it's no like, not so at once all. Once a plane starts to get bad, like back in the day, the DC-10 started to come out of the sky. And they must have been... Rechecked and redone to become the safest plane in, in the sky, and yet people wouldn't fly because of uh, the rubbish. Yeah, no I just way. think what what's so scary about f- flying is if there is a problem, it's two and a half minutes to think about your death. You're sat there plummeting to the earth for two and a half fucking minutes, and that is fucking terrifying we were on a plane in the south of france and there was we just kept all you could see we were hovering across the ocean like this and hovering oh, like, and hovering and hovering you could see the fucking you ocean you could fucking touch it and they they start running with the drinks trolleys and locking them up and they they had the trolley coming past ozzy and he's going <laughs> but why were you guys just Give flying over, over the water the the engines weren't no, no, no. thrusting. Oh, you guys took off. It's not like you guys were like flying to England at ocean level. No, uh-huh. we, we, we were flying at ocean level for quite some fucking time, time now. And it wouldn't go anywhere. And we are like going, oh, fuck. See, I'm more frightened to go on private planes than I am on uh, airlines because I know that there are more rules for the... Um, any plane, any plane, darling. Yeah. But I, I've had some awful experiences on a private plane. You remember I got on two planes in a row that had to make emergency landings. Mm-hmm. And it was, 
On the same day. On the same day. And it was absolutely terrifying. And that I was like, there is some... Where was that? When I was about doing 16, promo, I was doing promo for my, for my first album, you know. And uh, I had to get from L.A. to New York. You were and, with Mel. Uh, yeah. And it was, it was so terrifying. All you heard was like the potato chip packets exploding and the water bottles sucking in and the caps coming off. And it like, and then you heard like beep, 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 beep. And the ca- the captain looks back at us and then I get hit in the head with a- um, The mask? Uh, the oxygen mask. And I, I was like, this is terrifying. So I get my phone out and I call, I think I called the house. I, I Did I get through to you? No, no. I, just, I just remember you landing and Melinda's going, don't worry, the plane landed safe. We're waiting for another one to come and pick us up. And the same, well, not the same problem, but it happened again wow. on the flight. And then them up. they think... Do you remember the name of the company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was just terrifying. Well, we never, see what... but... never to go to them, I know. Well, do you remember when you guys flew to Hawaii and you had to turn back because they realized they didn't put enough fuel in the fucking plane? That was... Horrific because you were three hours out or some shit already, That's or right. two hours. We out. were on our way to Hawaii, and the guy comes back, the pilot comes back, and he says, No concern here, but we're gonna have to go back. And we're like, Why? And he goes, Because there's nowhere to land, and we haven't got enough fuel, so we're going back. I'm like, What, what do you mean, fuel? And he goes, Oh, there was a mistake, they didn't fill us up properly. And we're like, Going. <laughs> Yeah. I'd be terrified. Absolutely terrified. But at least time. No, no, no. This was a, a few Okay, what about, about five years okay, ago. don't you find that that people's worst side of them comes out on an aeroplane? Like the most disgusting side of human beings comes out on airplanes. Yeah, yes. But if and, it's going down, it's coming out the back. Of the <laughs> I'm just saying, like there's been all these Things recently about like post COVID, like post COVID, the- like the disgustingness, and people always think about like, oh, isn't it amazing to fly business class or first class? It is so fucking filthy and disgusting. Fingernails in between the gap of the wall and the seat, and all the bits of food. And well, I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you one time I was on a plane, I had an iPod. It fell down the side mm-hmm. of the, the chair. And I said, my iPad, you know, iPad, it fell down the side. She said, when we land, we'll get the chair up. You have never in your fucking life seen anything like it. There was fucking sandwiches with mould on, there was fucking... Uh, you, can, you can't imagine what was... On, on, on. Yeah, plain. I take a cleaning kit with me when I travel, and I... Clean oh, yeah. everything with uh, alcohol wipes. And I have seat covers that go over the seat so that I don't have my head touching like... they. I, I read something online. It was saying how dirty the bathrooms are. Mm-hmm. Is that there was... They, they swabbed like however many random planes. And they said there was up to 30 different types of, of E. coli, coli. Yeah, I saw in that. the toilets oh, yeah. of an airplane. I sometimes like see how long I can go before I have to go in that yeah. toilet to pee because yeah. I would when do you, when anything you go, when rather you go, when than you go, do go, it. Go, 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 get to the other side and you want to use a bathroom to be used a lot. Fuck. You know, it's disgusting. That's yeah, horrible. Yeah. Have okay, you, what have about you... plane etiquette? Sorry for interrupting you. I was going to say, has anyone ever flown Emirates? Like with a... I'm dying to fly yeah, Emirates. I have. I want to fly. I've flown Emirates business, but not since this was twenty years ago. Not since they've really, yeah, yeah. really blown it I'd out. I'd love, I'd love to to fly there so I could just say I've flown on that airline. It's it's hard because you can't go from here to London on Emirates. You no. can get it from New York and then go to London yeah. and we'll stop, but you can't get it from here. It's almost um, it's almost worth getting a flight to New York and is, then it is, yeah. Um. So what about plane etiquette? There are certain times, like, I, I'll give you an example. When me and mum fly with dad, I don't think there has been a time recently where we haven't gotten a fight with somebody on the plane because of something they've said or 
muttered under their breath and people people lose their fucking minds on planes i mean i fly probably anywhere from 30 to 50 times a year and it's people i just think don't handle the stress of travel it's because it's the whole thing is stressful it is and I think they people will go to bars to take the edge off. They have a few too many. They just get shitty. Mm-hmm. They lose all fucking inhibition. And then you throw in the fact that everyone were coming off the heels of COVID and all the COVID anxiety. Yeah, but there's a lot of fucking oh, asshats you know, on airplanes. One thing that people shouldn't be allowed to do is take their fucking shoes off. Yeah. On that note, thank you, Mum. I'm going to show you some pictures of things that airlines, in-flight staff have witnessed on an airplane and i have a bunch of them and you have to rate out of one and one to ten mm-hmm. it's grossness go on are you ready first picture <clears throat> <clears throat> this delightful woman oh. is shaving the skin off her feet on the airplane mm. What anyone, a, anyone for some Parmesan cheese on their uh, on their bolognese? Revolting thing to do on a plane. What would you She's do? Getting the hard skin off her heel. I'd, I'd, I'd say I'd tell her to go and fucking <laughs> be. So I literally couldn't. I said, it would be like Tourette's. Oh. I couldn't not say something. No, I. Uh, the dust off. Uh, oh, those skin particles flying around from a <laughs> dirty old heel. Ugh. It's like a chalkboard. Yeah. I'm going to take the eraser and right. smack it on the board. Come on, next one. Next one. This gentleman is drying his wet shoe in oh, the for air. For God's sake. I mean, Eddie where's, where's, where's it? a, it's all right. Eh? What if he has stinky feet? But what, what's he drying his feet from? Sweat. You sw- do you know that for sure or are you just imagining This is it? what I'm surmising. Okay. What if he accidentally, even worse, what if he accidentally pissed on his shoe while That's he was in I'm the toilet? That's what I'm saying. He was probably pissed. What if he was and- sick on his shoe? Mm. Well, whatever it is, there is a substance of moisture on his shoe and he is using the Some, it's, it's, air conditioning he's to just, dry it. just showering everyone in its particles. That's disgusting. Mm. Could you God. imagine the smell? I, this mm. is why aliens don't come to Earth. What would you give that out of ten? I would, I would, I would. I don't know if I would say something to him. The 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 woman shaving her foot. I'd be like, that's that's gross. I would shame her. I'd be like, you yeah. are a gross woman. Yeah, that is gross. Yeah. What kind of you, woman you, does that? Though? You are a gross woman. <laughs> that is gross. Okay. So out of ten, I first would give one would be a ten. At first, but ten I, out of ten. I, no, I think the first one because there's no bodily fluid, but there's just bodily particles. You breathe it in. Breathe it in. But the, first, the first one would offend me far more. But I would, they would both would piss me off. But the first one. I'd what say, if you were this poor get man? Get that fucking show. Oh, sat. That's disgusting. If you were this poor man, sat with this lady behind I you. Sort of, oh. I've done that. No. I would. Sorry. Um, I no. would. I would take my pen and just stab her foot. Yeah. <laughs> or, I, or you know, you know what I would do? I would turn around with my feet and I would just put my foot in yeah. her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd be like, this is okay, right? This yeah. is allowed. Yeah. But with so no sock on. disrespectful to that poor man. Mm. I think it's so oh, rude. Oh, 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 didn't anybody, I wonder if anybody stopped him. Did well, you... this is, uh, keep in mind, these are all pictures that in-flight staff have taken. So I'm sure they probably said something. It's yeah. disgusting. The whole, yeah. that would, okay, that would be, Mom, be, be on my one. chair five fucking seconds. Yeah. Oh, wait, did, did you have, get your... <gasps> did, oh, this did you so ever, disgusting did, because I'm going to do a zoom in and it's going to Did really you ever see the footage? Mind. Did you ever see the footage of Mike Tyson beating the shit out of the drunk guy on the plane? Yes. No, I love it though. Oh, it's amazing. This drunk guy wouldn't leave him alone. And he just kept hounding him and like leaning over his chair. And Mike Tyson turned around and fucking just lit this dude yes. up. It was amazing. Yes. Okay, this one is gonna have a zoom in because it's so disgusting. Are you ready? Yeah. Somebody left. Underwear? With crust. Oh! oh There's done. crust at the crotch. Crust at the crotch. What is it? Underwear, dirty uh, underwear. Crusty black, old, shitty knickers. With white crust. Oh, lovely. Oh. Uh, that's uh, fucking disgusting. Uh, right? Uh, like, how do you get up and not see that, first of I all? I thought and that how was do you... a sex toy. Mom, 
No, it looks like a fucking. It's you know in the those airbags. business class seats where um, they turn sideways. Yeah. They have seat belts that are padded. No, they're airbags, Kelly. What? Those are fucking airbags that if the plane crashes, they deploy. I didn't know that. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Suppose. Well, I anyway, mean, perhaps she did crash. She flew out of her knickers. <laughs> So out of ten, what would you give that one? I I would 20. be. How does she not know she doesn't have a nickel? Wait, that, wait, what was that, that story? That, that, that wouldn't be smart as a fucking. Shame, what was that but... story of the woman getting on the plane and sitting in her seat and she sat in diarrhea? Yes. And they wouldn't refund her they ticket. They wouldn't refund nothing. Yes. And it was all diarrhea, and the crew said we didn't have time to get the cleaners in. Oh no, that's disgusting. Oh, no, that is it fucking... was all between that is the two seats. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is so. Air, air travel was shit before COVID, and now it's fucking hell. Like, it all this stuff you hear, it's only been in the last five I years. Okay. Fucking... But there's no cleaning standards. They don't use disinfectants. I would go they don't... fucking insane. What about clipping your nails on no, an airplane? that is horrific. When they go flying, you know? Uh, what, what's the... But why... Clipping Somebody your nails. clipping their nails, and they just... But my thing is this. Why that respect that this man's about, anonymity? That is fucking... Because we, we Why respect his an- anonymity? He be- needs to be publicly shamed, yeah. dunce cap, tarred, yeah. feathered. Yeah. Send him to the gulag, hard labor. I just think put it's so electric gross. wires on his penis, mm. the whole thing. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting one. What if you're sat next to somebody Andre, and they're fuck. touching you? No, like, mm. need to I've had it. No. I've had what it. Are, what, no. are doing? what do you do? Their legs short. To I look. I had an they're old. Stumps. I had an, They're like no, dad. No. They're not stumps. They got no legs. Um, yeah. They got. They got no legs. <laughs> they're not Lieutenant Dan. They they're are. Leg stumps. They're no, no, they just sat next to each other. Look, they just sat like and that. And this oh. person is touching that person Perhaps without the other person's the permission. I would just look and say, I do not consent. Shorts. And okay, no I don't think you should wear shorts on an airplane. No. I don't wear shorts on a plane. No. I don't think you should wear shorts on an airplane. No, even if I'm going to Hawaii, I don't wear shorts nope. on a plane or sandals. No, nope. I'll bring sandals. Like if it's if it's a, like a flight to London, I'll bring my sandals because if I have to get up to pee, yeah, I'll put, put my yeah, sandals on. Same because okay, what about when you go on an airplane and you see people walk into the bathroom with no shoes <laughs> on, with no fucking <laughs> shoes on, and you're it's like, revolting. what? Revolting. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? When I when I was drinking in my youth, I remember being, I flew on Virgin. When they, they used to have the bar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was very drunk and I got up to pee and I was just wearing my socks and I went to the bar and I just stepped in piss and it was like the worst thing yeah, they, ever. That brought you back I was to like, uh, this sobriety. Is terrible. I was so like, I have a theory about this picture. I'm going to let you go see it and I want your opinion on it and then I'll tell you my theory. Okay. So... This Chill man in. is sleeping in the aisle yeah, of yeah. the seat. Oh, okay. So between the seats. Yeah. Between he's not the like se- on the... Okay, yeah. He's, he's not in the aisle where the cart comes yeah. by. It's between the seat and the... Yeah. What do you... I, I think is he... Is he dead? No, I, he's not dead, Mum. Is that a piss bag that he's got? Or is I that like... I think it's like, some snacks. His snack, okay. Some snacks. Mm-hmm. But the, my theory on this picture is that it's quite gentlemanly. Because I think this is a woman's leg and she's lying across the seats that he's lying on the floor. Uh, and yeah, I yeah. actually think it's quite smart. Yes. he's. But I he, wouldn't want to go on the floor. He's giving he's giving his wife the full stretch. And mm-hmm. so he's like, I'll take the floor, honey. Yeah. Don't worry. She's like giving him a sock job on the floor. Oh, so she's laying down on the chairs and he's so laying down on the floor. she's laying on the floor. chairs and he's laying on the floor. Between blowing, the seats. She's going to blow him. No, Dad. She's not going to blow him. She could, so though. So, what is that, so his toe. That's her ankle and that's her foot. Oh, over there, yeah. Okay. She's going to suck his toes. That he's just chip. He's cut his toe kind of smart. I mean, planes are filthy. I wouldn't want to lie on the floor of a plane, but... <laughs> that doesn't matter. Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like that one. Zach used to do that. What? He used to... Boy s- in the oil. Okay, this one makes me fucking angry because I've been on a plane and someone has done this to me. And did they live to regret it? What the fuck is uh, that? It makes me so angry. It's so disrespectful. Uh, I'd get my lighter out. Yeah. <laughs> just like, no, you, that's where you take your gum and you just put it in the hair. Yeah. And then, oh yeah. You did that? Yes, I did. Because I asked her several times to please not do it and she kept doing it. That's fucking... That's, 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 
Taking Those long piss. hairs getting in your food and shit, mm. that's revolting. Mm. Get your scissors out, snip, snip. Yeah. I know, I think it's just so rude. Is that looking men? at the, the sex film? Yes, mum, sex film. Let's have a look. Pornography. Oh my. Just it's worse watching on porn on a plane. Good for it. Sex it's films. Like sex, it's like sex what films, airlines? mum. Snakes on a plane what or airline? porn on a plane. <laughs> what airline is I? Uh, that's his own. Soccer, soccer. It's American Airlines. That's his own private. I do be. Soccer Dick Airline. Yeah. No, it's not, this is actually on American Airlines. Airlines. Um, but I'm a I'm a Delta guy. I'm a Soccer Dick Airline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Soccer Dick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. Okay. What's this? What would you do if you looked down and saw that? <laughs> I'd step on it. Like, I would step on it too. I'd crush it. <laughs> oh, I would. Oh, I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Your magic in between. I'd get a fork and, light them. and stab the fuck up. Oh, I so- love, I love that our solution to all these problems is to violently maim these people. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is a uh, fish buffet. With lobster. Fuck off. And um, they're having a they're having a boil. They're cheeses, having like a crawfish boil. They got the boil. baby wipes so that they, they keep the hands clean. Oh, what, what was this? You know what? I'm not what mad at it. I'm, I'm not mad I'm at it either. I'm not mad Hold at on it. A minute. What the hell are those pink things? Those in are that shrimps, bu- mum. Mum, those are huge like prawns, maybe. Oh, lobster. What airline is that? You fucking prawn. Suffering. You fucking prawn. <laughs> Ain't no fucking no fucking prawn. And but they've got they, they've got look. Like the Soccer Brown Oh no, that's from <laughs> nine. Dist- yeah, District, um, District nine. Nine. District Nine. District yeah. Nine. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> Have you been fucking no fucking prawn? <laughs> but I say let him live. Like I mean, Soccer Brown Airline. Oh no, I'm sorry. Opening up that sea. Which but, shit uh, uh, on uh, a plane, uh, darling. it would stink. Anyone no, having a seafood no. buffet on a plane? No, that's disgusting. <laughs> I think they're, they're winning at life because I'd they be brought it themselves. I'd be fucking jealous. No. The airplane food's crap. What if, but if they, what if they shared, you know, you know what my friend used to do on a plane? Um, he had a severely autistic son and uh, who's had a really hard time flying. And so when he would go on, when he would travel with his son, he would bring a bag of earplugs and then a bag of candy and everyone like are in the vicinity of him, he would give ear- earplugs to and like a piece of candy to be like, hey, thank you. Like just mm-hmm. understand. I thought that was always like a, yeah, like nice a nice, thing, a nice yeah. gesture. Yeah. More of that and less of that. What would you do if the person in front of you put their coat over your seat so you couldn't see your TV? I'd, I'd move I'd the coat. I'd spit on it or put bogeys. I I'd would put definitely all my put food bogeys in the on pocket it. of the jacket. Yeah. Everything that they had you know what, the inside you the pocket. You know what I would do? Jacket. I would I would write a note, and the note would be I've all kinds you of junk in are the a, pocket. and yeah. I would put it in the pocket. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I put the bones, everything in. Daddy, when we used to go to restaurants when we were first together, uh, you had to wear a jacket in those days mm. in certain restaurants. So they would always have a. If you didn't have a, one, they'd say we have jacket. one for you. And Daddy used to rip the pockets. And then put food Bone, inside the, the lining. lining of the jackets. Always used to do it. Are you creative, man, we you. Would, do you remember how much we would laugh? We used to go to Trader Vic's. They used be, to have Yeah, bones. yeah, yeah. A coat would be heavy. Full of bones and fucking. Spare rib bones he'd always order uh-huh. and put it all in. Okay, this one I think I thought was we might as well go out with a bang. Go on. It also involves a zoom in. Go on. What? Oh, she's got shit on her heel. How do we know that shit? No, I'm. Yeah, once again, all roads point back to shit. shit. It look. You know what it looks like? It looks like she's just come home from a vacation and there was tar on the beach. She's put sucker toe on. She's put. Is that a woman? A that's foot that's on a woman's a tray. Foot. That's not tray a woman. That is a woman. What's the look other how thing? big. That's a big ass woman foot. I actually think Jack might be. That's a fucking no, that's huge a foot. No, because I, I believe that that's hair. Well, mm. women have hairy legs. This is true. We're living in 2024. Yeah. No, do you want to know why I think it's a woman? Because the iPod has a very feminine case on it. Let me see it. How do you know that? Uh, I don't know. That's a woman's foot. That's not. <laughs> Could I think mom's a right. I think it's a woman's foot. foot. That's I think on the tray. On the tray table where people eat. That's why. What's let me tell this? you, as part of my 
Ritual? Ritual no. on the airplane. You can buy these things on Amazon. They're amazing. And they just slide over the tray table. Mm. Look. And you can throw it away when you go. Her. And they have these seat covers that just go over the seat. I used What's to be. What's the thing on the bottom? That's her other foot and she's wearing an ankle She's laying on her side. Oh, my God. Look, she's laying on, on her side, yeah. That is fucking grotesque. It is, isn't it? Uh, Makes you uh, angry. fucking awful. Hmm. Well, should we move off of okay. air travel and planes? Yes. yes. Okay, this is a diversity topic. Inter there was an internal diversity letter is issued to all US spies stating that the word blacklisted as a term is racist. And, what? And sanity check as a term is disparaging. <laughs> I don't know what you were So, okay, about. you know the term blacklisted? Like, if you've been blacklisted? Well, what, what, what do, you know, do you know what the term blacklisted means? Yeah, but what, what's racist about it? Because I guess it has the word black in it, and it's a list of people that aren't able, you know, you they're not allowed to work or something. So that takes me back to black uh, ordering a black coffee. Is that yeah. racist? Uh, the, the problem is anything can be racist if you want it to be. I agree with that. Oh, what, like, what, are you, what, 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 what we have a blackout? Yeah, it's it's now a no lights on out. <laughs> power outage. Yeah, power outage. Or you can't, well, at schools you can't say blackboard. You, know. you have to say you know you chalkboard. Chalkboard what about or whiteboard. What about whiteboard? But you can say whiteboard. What about what about white white out? You can say whiteout. If there's if there's a big snow if there's a big snowstorm you can say whiteout. About Blacklisted, though, that I kind of like. I, I what, get. What, 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 what was if it's a original? list of things that you. But here's the thing: I looked it up, uh -huh. and there is no racial origin to the term blacklisted. It was. The, it was. It was. It came but from. But Jack, like, there's also people going on the news saying that math is racist. What Kelly? Math is incredibly fucking racist. Math burns crosses on people's driveways. Math. Math. Yeah, math, mum. Math. What, what are you on about? There's this group of people that have been on going on the news lately. Saying math is racist. Saying that math mathematics is, ra yes. is racist. Yes. Why is mathematics racist? Because people in low-income communities, uh, people who are, you know, brown and black people tend to have lower math scores in the standardized testing. And then so I should be black because I can't add two and fucking two. So what's that going to do with anything? Well, I guess they... they Don't get on these fucking rights. Oh, no. But I guess I'm... there is a perception that due to, you know, uh, inequality that, uh, you know, the STEMs, you know, all the sciences are racist. Oh, all right then. It's getting, it's getting ridiculous. You know what? You know where countries that don't really aren't concerned about whether if the, black, the term blacklisted is racist or not? Ukraine. When they've got real fucking problems, <laughs> you know, it's like, hmm, I did a lot of work with a network that had something called the green folder. What's the green folder? The green folder oh, was their blacklist of people that were not allowed to work on productions or for the network. So if, it, hmm? if it's green folder, what, why do they call it blacklist? They, they called it. Well, that was just their term for the blacklist because the blacklist was too obvious and you can get in trouble in the entertainment industry for having a blacklist. Yeah. So instead of actually being like, oh, it's on the blacklist, they'd be like, no, put them in the green folder. And that just basically means this person does not meet the standards or has created problems or we don't want to do business with them. Yeah. I mean, but I like the green folder. Where do you draw the line between promoting in inclusivity, which I think is important, mm -hmm. and then ridiculousness and then losing your freedom of speech well that's that's the age-old question you know it's that it's this whole there's a it's whole getting, notion it's of it's getting way out of our noses fucking there was a there was a a, a fellow i forget who which there was some old philosopher that said i would rather be i would rather be free than safe and I think there's such a as people are striving so much i must be safe i must be safe well, the only way to make things safe is that you have to, you know, uh, apply restrictions. And I just don't, I would rather, my thing is I'd rather be free than safe. Like I have the, I have a choice whether I get offended by something or not. Yeah. But it just seems to me that people are looking for trouble. They are. Yeah. People want to be a part of 
the right side of history yes. and are scared to have an opinion and like to attack people for having opinions because it makes them look like they believe in something. And they're important. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs a soapbox. Right, next topic. This one's an interesting one. I accidentally sent this article to you by accident instead of Hannah, and I was scared that you were going to think that it was some, like, hidden message. But it's a parenting topic. Oh, I read it. 73% of millennials believe they are doing a better job of raising their kids than their own parents. New research says they're doing four things differently. Do you want to know what the four things are? Absolutely, I do. Okay, so gentle parenting. Listen do you know what gentle this. parenting is? Not, not hitting your children. No, it's a parenting style that guides children through the decision-making process without the parent setting demands and rules. Mm. And it's kind of like, I think, I believe in gentle parenting, but I see parents making really, really, really terrible mistakes with gentle parenting. Yeah. And it... Be ultimately, kids crave structure. Yeah. doesn't matter what, what kids will always benefit and grow far better in a structured environment versus a totally unstructured environment. Okay, so the point, uh, the second thing is that um, parents now have access to social media to ask for help in parenting decisions, yeah. which they didn't have before. So there's a community of outreach that, you know, wasn't available before social media. It also wasn't acceptable. Like it wasn't like an acceptable practice mm -hmm. to ask other people parenting advice. It just wasn't really common. The third thing of course it is was. you're telling me that your parents would have conversations with other parents about, oh, I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with young Sharon. No, they it, well, exactly. Wouldn't. So it's it's a relatively new um, thing. Opening uh, the third one is opening up about mental health. Oh, please. No, when I was a kid, if, if you said if, oh, someone opened up about mental health, it was fucking bad news. And the fourth one is being present with children, prioritizing children over work. And I think that this is this is one of those things that is. It's all perspective. It's based on the individual parent. I don't think that it can be necessarily the difference between millennials and I, and boomers. It's it's based on the parent. Every pa set of parents has their own rules for bringing their children up. But but ultimately, too, it's it's I, not a group decision. No, and it but like it's that that age old saying, you know, parents did the best they could with the tools that they have. And mm -hmm. our generation just has access to the internet. How many people have the luxury of staying home and bringing their children up that don't have to go out to work? So how can you prioritize your children over paying your rent, paying for food, paying for classes I mean, some for your people, kids? Some, some people, people do. Have got like a some people do. Kids. That's a luxury. I've got ten dollars. Yeah, it, it's listen. It's definitely. I think it's a definite luxury um, to have a st like a stay home people, parent. People, some people are very hard up. They can't. And they've got to put food in the kids' stores. Out of ten dollars for a week. So it it's I when I look at this, there's a side of me that is like, as a millennial. Do I think I'm doing a better job of raising my child than my mom did of me? Probably not. One thing I got to say. Say hello to Auntie Jean. Hi, Auntie, Auntie Jean. Jean. Hi, Auntie Jean. <laughs> um, but, but here's the thing, but though. It, it, because do, do, did my parents let me do things that I would never let my child do? Absolutely. But I think that goes with every parent to child. You learn from mistakes. You and, yeah, and, 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 so so. You, you, what 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 one person does with their ch children to another person is, is individual things. You, know, you and we and no matter what, like you know, we in our generation when we grew up, very different from how our kids grow up, Kelly. Yeah. So the and there are things that fuck you fuck you up in their own ways. Like I. M if I could go back and do things differently as a parent, I never would have got my kids iPads. I think the worst, most detrimental thing yes, to fucking yes, childhood yes. development are iPads. Yes. And, and for, it is so, it, 
it it's changes. Crippling. It, and it's it, crippling and to it, a child. And it changes the structure of the brain. Yeah. I think if you have it, it should be something that's used as a treat. What scares me, what really scares me about that when he's, if, you, if they're not monitored. Yep. You gotta be. You gotta. You, you gotta. You gotta say. Right. If you. If you. If you. If you use this, we're not telling you not to. You're not having it for a yeah. month. Are yeah, you ready like, for our final topic? Sure. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta start. You gotta do that. You gotta say. In future, from now on, I'm not sure how Yeah. Well, what well, I'm. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna severely pull back on the iPad. I'm actually no, going to get rid of the iPads for the kids, and I'm going to put a computer in the living room no, to where no, if they no, want to no, talk with their friends, do, no. yeah, they what have you to do, do it. There. Yeah. Is, 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 but if you if best set as the rules, if the rules are breaking, they've got no penalty. Yes. If you if you you call out for a month, if you if it, oh, go, oh my head, then if they do it again, you call out for six months. Mm-hmm. You got to make you got to make it to, to go fuck corner, you know. Yeah. Exactly. It's okay. so dangerous. For Ready kids. for our final topic? Oh, please. That's what I would do. No, I am. A Pentagon study finds. This is like insane. You gotta pull on in the spam room. Okay. I, I mean, it's yes. There is massive changes coming when it comes down to how. You would get to sit them all around and tell them. Okay. Enough about the fucking iPads. We get it. Go on. Okay. Pentagon study finds 77% of young Americans too fat, mentally ill, on drugs, etc., to join the military. 77%. I looked oh, it up. McDonald's down. Do you know what the population yeah. is uh, of the, the country that are in the military? No. 0.07% of the population are in the United States military. So having 23% of the population that is able to join the military... It's actually not a bad statistic. I see what you're saying, but 77% is a lot of people, yes. Jack. And but, close McDonald's. Just but, get but rid of McDonald's. It's not just that they're too fat. It's that they suffer from mental illness. They suffer from McDonald's. drug addiction. Yeah, but if you put them in the military, they'll lose weight. They will stop drugs because well, where that, the hell I, they're going to get the longest, it. For the longest time, I've actually I've always thought there should be Ma- like mandatory service in the United States. Well, they should be if you don't have at a certain level of education, what's going to happen to those people? They should go into service for two years. Mm-hmm. At least they will be taught a uh, trade yeah. because... Plus the fact... If it's, there's if, no if, apprenticeship If there's a anymore. war again, which it looks like yeah, very possibly good, China's all ready for it. Yeah. They've got uh, mandatory. Mm-hmm. I I honestly think that if kids I, commit I, I, three three crimes under a certain age, they should be shipped into the military. You got a choice: got to go jail or so military. They yeah. used to they used to do that a lot more, and they kind of stopped it. What if you're against war? Tough shit. You will still get a trade. No. And then you can come out and yeah. keep yourself Only, out. But the like war. in the UK, you can sign up for being against if, war, if against and then you don't. War, you can't get drafted. Check around the back of the shit. I don't know if that. I don't know if that. Yeah, isn't you're a, a conscientious it is, objector. Conscientious objector. But you, you, you got, you got to, you got to put the. I'm a con. You got to bab that. You can't just go. Oh, but here's the thing. So, Sydney, he is an American citizen. Doesn't matter if he's a British citizen as well. The moment he turns eighteen, he has to sign the draft forms in the United States, and it's a felony if he doesn't. Yeah. Why? Why? When he has both passports. Because he's an American citizen. It, it comes above all. Like your American citizenship trumps the citizenship of any other country you're a, you're a, you're a citizen of. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, this was a very interesting podcast. There were highs, there were lows. There were and there sti- was dog shit. And there was dog shit and feet. Yep. Mm. This is the end. This yes. is the end of the podcast. You've still got some time left here. Oh, say goodbye before you put your shoes on. Right. Lucky well, you weren't on a plane. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Oh, hey, Bye. make sure you click like and subscribe. Tell everyone about the podcast. If you're watching on Rumble, make sure you hit that follow button. And uh, if you're listening on podcasts, thanks for listening. We love you guys. <laughs>